Okay, it's time for uh, City Stadium Memories Volume 3. Uh, this week's uh, question for the Spider Gang, and we've got some uh, special guests, is who is your favorite uh, Spider player? So here we go. Enjoy okay, we the have the Sheriff and Mrs. Diplomat here. <laughs> Looking good on a, a surprisingly sunny uh, Saturday and windy, afternoon. And windy. And windy. Uh, <laughs> what about your favorite spider players? Have you got some favorite spider players you want to talk about? Well, mine, I decided in the car coming over here, was Walker Gillette. Because he Man, the Capron uh, Comet. Uh, I, I'm not sure what his nickname is, but I know he was from Capron. Oh, that's good, Tom. I wouldn't have known where he was from. I just know, knew he could catch a ball. The Sheriff, have you got uh, your favorite? I guess I would have to say uh, Barry Redden and Tim Hightower. I know Tim Hightower. Yeah, there's two uh, running backs. I, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised your memory uh, takes you back as far as Barry Redden, but that, that's impressive. Oh, don't knock her memory. That's Tom. impressive. Two great uh, running backs, Barry Redden and uh, two in spirit. Who's your favorite Spider player? My favorite Spider player is Barty Smith. All right, and old Douglas Freeman uh, along right there, isn't he? Yes, indeed, and that's because I know him personally, and he can play good football. And another guy who played in the NFL after playing with his Spider. Green Bay Packers, go Barty Smith. Just one time for the audience. Okay, here's a uh, great gang of, uh, of spiders and some special guests here. You just don't know. Guys, what favorite players uh, do you guys remember uh, from uh, the stadium? Uh, Scooper, who's your favorite spider player? Well, Tom, I've been thinking about this, and it's, it's, I guess I haven't. There's some, I guess I was a starter watching spider football around 69 when during Buster O'Brien and Walker Gillette and John Livesey and those I mean, those were some good times. But uh, I guess without uh, going into too much of detail, you cannot give up names like Dimitri Cornegay and Napoleon DeBose. You wow. have to think about those guys. You have to dig deep uh, to remember those guys. That was a tough time. That was when we were transitioning from Division One to uh, yeah. Division One AA. That, that was tough. That was tough. They hung tough. Uh, but probably, uh, as we go along, top top players would. I'd have to, you'd have to say Barty Smith. He was there when I was there. Mrs. Spirit said Barty Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Electric. Hey, Mr. Electric, the chief. You got a favorite player you'd like to uh, remember? Walter Gillette. That's it. Walker Gillette. God, you guys. Oh no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not hearing that all. A younger guy. One thing. One guy I've mentioned before. I think I mentioned it last time in terms of the games he's been at. Is Jeff Dixon. He was always a guy that stood out to me. That's my man. He's one of my favorite players. Eric Ward in today's terms, but Jeff Dixon from you know, back in the day. Two great choices, uh, Mr. Counselor. What'd you say? Well. <laughs> I would have said Barty Smith, but yeah. since Ricky and I made him, we can't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he, made, he made him what he is. <laughs> yeah. He made so, this and this and this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to go with one, thing one of my, orthopedic <laughs> I was very newly married when Barry Redden ran all over my wife's Hokies. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember. I mean, he just ran all over them. And uh, I'd have to go with Barry Redden and Jeff Nixon. All right, two great. We have another choices. special guest here who wants to get in on the city stadium memories, Mr. Real Estate. <laughs> Who's your favorite spider player? I remember the days when uh, Buster O'Brien was here, uh, Sonny Jurgensen style, drop back in the pocket. Man, there have been a lot of uh, mention of Buster and Walker. And, and throwing rockets to Walker Gillette as he went down the sideline. Those were two great guys, and uh, Buster Buster grew up to be a responsible citizen. He's a judge now, isn't he? The judge in Virginia Beach. Can't beat that. <laughs> All right, it's Thank going. You. It's going. I tell you, I've got uh, three choices uh, for this uh, unforgettable player. My number one choice from back when I was an undergrad in my class Pat Kelly, middle oh, yeah. linebacker yeah. from the spot. I tell you, there wasn't a meaner guy in the Southern Conference at that time. Played across the line for Marty Smith. Probably on what I consider that 73 team to be the best team the spot has ever put on the field. A little bit later, Jeff Nixon, just like some of the other guys, never saw a defensive back any better. And in this era, Eric Ward, my number one uh, guy. Yep. Go Eric.
Mr. Real Estate here with a City Stadium memory. Go for it, Mr. Real Estate. I, I can remember City Stadium when, uh, when I was in high school at Douglas Freeman in 1967. The Rebels won their one and only state football championship, and the championship game was played in City Stadium, and we beat Petersburg High School for the state championship. And it was just it, mud and dust. It, it was a little rainy that day, but for the most part, it was, it was you know, not that bad. The you beat the okay. Crimson Wave? <laughs> Were the Lanier brothers playing there? I, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was rainy and cold, I remember, but it was, it was not a mud bowl. All right, good going, Oscar. Cap Mr. Counselor, can you add some color to uh, Mr. Real Estate's uh, Petersburg story? Well, all I can say is that it was seven nothing. It was tight. It was tight. And Ronnie Herb was going to Alabama. He was the man. So we shut him down. We shut him no down. Points. Uh, now that place was packed. It was about fifteen thousand people or better here. Uh, it was a great night. Now, were you on the field or were you a 10th grader at that I time? I actually got to play special teams. All right. And in fact, if I can brag a little bit, I got a piece of the tackle on the kickoff after we scored. All right. Go Rebels.